The Xbox is about fun and games, and it's about a five and a half billion dollar business last year. So Microsoft is throwing everything they got at a new Xbox. I've been collaborating with all of Microsoft research at a company-wide level. So, you know, world-leading experts in computer vision, machine learning, speech recognition, audio processing, all of it, it all comes together. We combine it with this incredible hardware platform, and that's how we're able to generate the incredible experiences that you're seeing today. Every detail counts. Take the new controller, iteration after iteration, designed in a special modeling studio, employing a handful of top-of-the-line, half-million-dollar 3D printers. So this is the old controller, and this is the new controller, and there are some noticeable differences, like this thing is gone on yeah, the new one. That's right. So we work really hard to take the battery pack that's on the bottom side of the 360 controller, and on the new controller, we oriented it so that it's, it's really open now. It's not just design improvements, it's the increasingly complicated operations of Xbox Live. That's the streaming video and other content Microsoft's counting on to lure even non-gamers. Behind this door is what they call the ZOC, the Xbox Operations Center, XOC, a top secret monitoring facility deep inside the Microsoft campus. ZOC engineer Eric Neustetter says every aspect of Xbox Live traffic is monitored in real time. It's the virtual pulse of the internet where they head off problems at the pass. Uh, we've tried to make the system smarter and smarter so that rather than something breaking and users noticing and we have to go fix it, we see it before it breaks and we proactively make that machine stop working, pull it out so no customers are using it, smack it on the head, and then when it's running again, put it back. This is an anechoic chamber, a room with zero echoes for total silence. It's thanks to these baffles, they're three foot long fiberglass tiles all over the room on all four walls and on the ceiling and on the floor underneath this wire mesh floor. This room is crazy. It's totally silent. You, you can't hear anything in here. And that's the perfect environment to test the microphones in this Microsoft Connect, part of the new Xbox. It's one of the really nutty things that they do here at Microsoft to test this new device. Inside this laboratory, director of test Bob Brown puts the Xbox components through extraordinary paces. An antenna chamber with 3D representations of an antenna signal made of blue and yellow foam. And robots. Robots shake the Xbox controller with force. Other robots poke and prod over and over again, one million times. This says test and progress, progress do not enter. Yeah, Let's, that's our sign when the door's closed. But yes, you can. We're okay right now. So what happens in here? So in this room, what this is, this is our RF chamber. And what we do in here is we test everything from a conductive type scenario where we are... Uh, the end result, a powerful new Xbox, which required a ton of work. If you look at just the technology and the hardware itself and the amount of money that we have to spend in R&D just to develop it, it's incredible. Corey Johnson, Bloomberg, Redmond, Washington.